Hi, I'm Nabe. I'm at the airport in Uganda now to go back to Japan. I'm sharing Entebbe Airport, which is the only international airport in Uganda. Please watch till the end. I'm sharing my Uganda life in this channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Entebbe Airport was newly renovated at the end of last year. It has been transformed into a modern. This is the old building which was used until the new one was built. The inside is small and narrow. The new one was built next to this. I'll show it. This airport is an hour's drive from the central Kampala, and the taxi fare will cost around $40. This place is a little inconvenient to get to. This is the newly renovated Entebbe Airport. This building appears to have been built with the aid of South Korea. South Korea flag is designed at the entrance. Cute drug detention dogs are wandering around the entrance, but you shouldn't take a picture. If you take a picture of dog, you will be charged a large fine. Entebbe Airport is at the end of a peninsula that juts out into Lake Victoria. We can see Lake Victoria from the airport. Lake Victoria is said to be the most dangerous lake in the world due to its changeable weather. It says that about 5,000 people lose their lives in this lake every year. It looks like a huge building is being built next to the airport. This building appears to be under construction with Chinese assistance. The word welcome is written in many different languages around the world. Sadly, there is no Japanese. This is the only international airport in Uganda, but it's small compared to those in other countries. We can buy drinks inside of this big Coke. This is old airport building and this is new airport. I have some time before my flight, so I'll eat at a restaurant. The yellow food is called matoke, which is made from banana. The white one is called posho, which is made from maize flour, and rice and green vegetables. We eat these foods with chicken stewed in tomato soup. This food is three dollars, including this soda. The food is very tasty, but there are often small insects inside. This is a common thing in Uganda. So I recommend you to come here with the mentality to not be bothered if there are bugs in the food. I came to the inside. This is very new and clean. Traveling abroad is still not common in Uganda. That's why there are not many people. This is flight schedule. Most of the flights are to major cities in Africa. But there are some flights to cities outside Africa like Dubai, Doha in Qatar, and Mumbai in India. When you come to Uganda from Japan, it's common to transfer in Dubai or Doha. If you want to hold down flight cost, you should use Ethiopia Airlines and transfer Addis Ababa, capital city of Ethiopia. A woman is blowing bubbles inside the airport. She looks like an adult and foreign tourist. In my opinion, I think foreigners must behave well when we visit other countries. After successfully passing through immigration, I enter the airport. As I said earlier, there are few people and it's quiet compared to the other airports. Although there are not many, there are some duty-free shops and souvenir shops. And there is also a bookstore. The souvenirs sold here are almost the same as those sold in the market of Kampar. But the price is several times higher than in the market, so I recommend buying enough souvenirs before coming here. This is Ethiopian Airlines plane I'm taking today. See you soon, Uganda. Thank you so much. Uganda is 100 times better than I had imagined before coming here. 25 hours later, I came back to Japan for the first time in 6 months. I feel like I've traveled 30 years into the future in just one day, because Japan is so modernized.
Although I stayed in Uganda for only six months, I was able to discover the problems facing Uganda and realize how great Japan is. I have plans to go back to Uganda, but I'll be in Japan for a while. I'll take a break from uploading videos about Uganda for a while, but please keep subscribing to my channel. I'll share my Japanese life and various information about Japan while staying in Japan. Thank you for watching my Ugandan life. Lastly, what I want to tell you is that if you are interested in Uganda or other foreign countries, you should try to visit. New people and new discoveries are surely waiting for you and it will broaden your horizons. Thank you so much for watching my Ugandan life. Thank you so much Uganda. See you in the next video. Bye.